What is up guys? Welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. We had a crazy busy weekend. I had the final release of my Moneymaker Profit Bags. If you haven't seen that or seen that video, go check those out on my website as well at mpmerch.com if you want to get some of these or just check them out. Kohl's decided to have their massive clearance event today in store and online. Oh my gosh, bread and butter is cooking. We've probably had like 50 to 60 online leads this morning from Kohl's of absolute easy profits. So I'm gonna film this video very quick because I wanna get in there and start buying some stuff online. I haven't even gotten to do anything besides call out a couple of leads because I've been shipping out these bag orders and I haven't even gotten into all of my orders, but that's what we're gonna do in this video. Probably going to be a little quicker than normal. We're gonna ship out everything that sold from Friday night through today, Monday morning, tell you how much I paid for everything and where I got it. And at the end of the video, we'll get into the total profit I made on everything. Okay, so because I'm in a huge rush, I didn't sell any less this week and I just crammed it all on one table so we can just knock it out real quick. Let's start with the hats. We got this from Kohl's for $8, sold it for $25 on eBay. Got this USA hat from Burlington. Never mind, it was from TJ Maxx for $5.99. Yes, you do take the TJ Maxx tags off unless you like negative feedback. Sold that for $20. We got both of these Reds hats for $10 from Marshalls and sold them both for $30 on eBay. We got this Zubaz uh, Bengals hat, pretty cool here, for $10 from Burlington. Sold that for $35 on eBay. We sold both of these to the same buyer. These were $6 each. Cut a deal with him for $20 a hat on both of those. And he also bought another hat. I can't remember which one it was. Um, and then we got this Cleveland Indians hat. That was $6 as well, sold it for 20 bucks. Next, this whole row here was all from that $5 hat sale I've talked about a lot in the past. We sold this Browns hat for 22, sold the Globetrotters hat for 20, uh, 28 on the uh, Nationals hat. Um, I believe 20 on this one, I forget, it's some minor league team. We got 23 on each of the Cincinnati Reds hats and then the Ohio State hats got 20, 20, 25. These are pallet hats, so anywhere from like a dollar to three dollars, if that. Um, we sold this play ball one for $15.99. We sold this Field of Dreams hat for 30 bucks, and then the Creighton Blue Jays for 15. Next, we've got all these American Eagle boxers. We cooked the crap out of these in bread and butter. I called those out when they were like four or five bucks on the American Eagle website for three packs. You cannot beat that. They were going for around 26 when I called them out, but they're down to about 20 now. Anyways, though, they are flying at $20, and I bought like 250 pairs of these. I know some other members went in on them as well. I honestly wish I would have went in more because I sold like 14 pairs this weekend, as well as a box of these Calvin Klein undies that were from my local grocery store from that one reel that I filmed. Those were $7.99, and I get 26 for those. We got this blank New Era beanie. I wholesaled a bunch of these out to the group as well, and I've got more of these coming, as well as just blank New Era normal hats. And I wholesale these out to the group for about $2.53 $3 a piece, and I sold this one for 15. We got this Astros hat here that was from a $10 online sale. I forget who called that out in the group, but someone did. 25 bucks there. Uh, same thing here, 10 to 25, and another online lead. Another online online lead. I can't remember if I called these out or someone else, but these were $15 on an Amazon price air. Even though they are a small size, if they're USA, I'm picking them up. And I sold those for $35. Uh, these I used my Crocs discount customer service code on to get those down to like $16, $17 bucks and selling them for $37. Great volume play there. Same with these. Uh, these were like 20 bucks from the Crocs website and I sold those for 45. We got this Pete Rose Cincinnati Reds jersey. With them being hot, the red stuff is selling really well. That was $30 at Burlington and I get 60, 65 depending on the size. Um, if it's a really big size, I usually get like 65 for it. We got this Joseph Adai jersey that I actually ripped the tag off already as I was packaging because again, I'm in a rush today. That was $6.99 at TJ Maxx and I sold it for $30 on eBay. Picked up these brown sandals, an extra 50% off at Kohl's, so $5.25. How do you pass on a pair of NFL slides at that price? You don't. Sold them for like $23. Bucks. Made a nice quick profit and they're a nice first class ship. We picked these up at Burlington for $15. 
Normally I sleep on the smaller sizes, but not in cleats because parents will buy them for their kids. And I sold these for, I wanna say $75 actually on those bad boys. Let's get this out of the way here. This is just a LeBron poster that I got in a pallet, like a dollar a piece, and I sold it for 15. Uh, these were from Marshalls last year for $16.99. I was slinging these on eBay last summer for like 50 bucks. Must be an older style though, cause they're only going for like 40. Still making money. And I sold probably 20 pairs of these things last season. And I only had a couple left. This was a great find the other day at Burlington on these cleats. I mean, these things are sweet. Look at these, look at the bottoms of those. Um, those were $16.99 at Burlington. And I sold those for $90 on eBay. These were both from a Nike B stock sample lot. So like four or five bucks a piece. Uh, nothing big that was really when i was just trying to get my inventory up and it wasn't the best decision wasn't the best inventory i'm just getting like 15 a piece for those that's what the market is these were all bread and butter leads as well on these adidas pants we cook these in the summer usually and then hold them till winter but people are already buying the adidas pants i believe the blue ones were 12 dollars and i sold those for 35 and then these sold for 35 as well and those were like 14 dollars i want to say these went to the same buyer, so we'll combine on shipping on those. Next, let's break down some of these shoes. Uh, this box has seen its better days, but these are Nike slides from Kohl's for $22.50. I actually listed it without the box. I just stored it in there, so I'm going to take them out and then ship them like that. So like $11.25 is what we paid on those, and we sold those for $30. Uh, these were from Nike, I want to say in Dallas. Maybe not, but I only would have picked these up if it was during like the extra 30% and then extra 20%. Uh, still not a great buy, um, kind of when I was still learning the shoe game. These sold for 70 bucks, so I didn't lose money after all the discounts got taken out, but definitely wouldn't buy again. Next, we got these Nike Terra Vistas. These were $30 at Sasens, and I sold those for 70 on eBay. And then we got these Callaway golf shoes that I picked up, let's say, in the winter of like last year, and I still had some left in the summer. Can't get this freaking box open here. There we go. Um, just some Callaway golf shoes. I uh, sold those for 50 bucks, picked them up for like 20, nothing big. In all of these Crocs boxes, we got some camo Crocs that are selling on Amazon for like 60 bucks. Those were like 30 bucks. I explained that um, last week. And then we got these, these are a different kind of camo croc. Those were 30, selling for 65 on Amazon. And then lastly, we got a pair of Skechers that I got from the last Kohl's clearance event. I called these out in the group. That's why I'm really rushing because I want to get in there and see what all they have. Uh, those were $18 and I sold them for 50. And then we got these that we actually called out last summer. I don't know why I remember this, but Hayden called these out on a price error actually on the Nike website. Um, those were like $25 for a pair of Jordans. You can't pass it up. Sold them for 65 bucks. So that's everything that sold guys from this weekend. Now I'm going to package everything up quick and I'll get you guys the final numbers. Very, very solid weekend. And off to the post office we go. All right, so running down those final numbers on eBay, we sold 55 items for $1,854. And on Amazon, we sold six items for $360. That's it today for 61 items sold for $2,214. Now, as always, to get our total net profit, we need to take out all of our costs. So take out our cost of goods sold of $721, our shipping $329, and our fees of $266 for a total net profit this weekend of $898. So again, we did not do $1,000, but I didn't really do much towards my reselling business this weekend. With the bags coming in, I had to focus all of my energy on that. As well as the group, we've been cooking like crazy this weekend. All of the online sales are happening for all of the summer clearance events. All these sites are liquidating everything before quarter four. So now is really just a hustle on there and loading up inventory. And then the coming months, I'll really be focused on getting that all listed. So I really appreciate everyone so much for watching. All glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm so thankful to be able to make all these sales and to be able to share it with you guys. And without him in my life, it would not be possible. If you're interested in checking out my cook group, Bread and Butter, for daily in-store and online leads, as well as reselling help, you can check that out first link in the description. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.